I was a kid, um, and I was a nervous kid. I used to sometimes have shaky bow, and I had, I got nervous when I performed and that type of thing. And my teachers were always saying, "Relax, Paul. Relax, relax." And I found that I got so frustrated and so so annoyed because I would always say, you know, "Well, how? You know, how?" And also, you know, like why? You know, because I was thinking, "Well, I want to be up to perform." Then uh, one nervous day when I was in my 20s and I was sitting in a practice room uh, getting ready for a concert, suddenly I had a flashback, kind of a revelation of, of when I was six years old and I fell and I broke my wrist and my mother took me to the emergency room to have my wrist set. And in those days this uh, doctor came at me with this chloroform mask that he was going to put over my face. And I smelled that stink and I just panicked. The doctor stopped and he said, okay, Paul, you win, you win. But I make you a promise. If you decide that you don't like the smell, just let me know. Just blow it away and that will be my signal to stop. And I, won't, I promise you I won't come closer. Well, I wanted to be a good little boy, so I agreed to that. So the doctor started coming at me with um, this way. And... I sniffed it a little bit, and then I decided I didn't like it, so I really wanted to let him know, so I went <laughs> like that. And as I went <laughs> like that, I realized I'd been tricked. So um, 20 years later, sitting in the practice room, it just came back to me, breathe, breathe. Yeah, you know what? You will always breathe in. The trick is to remember to breathe out. And so I started in my own plane thinking a lot about the exhale, um, the release. And of course, the release of the breath is one of the most, maybe the, uh, the body's most powerful way of releasing muscle and releasing tension. So what I, I learned from my doctor's experience is that uh, to think about the exhale. The inhale always happens automatically. You need not concern yourself with it. So when I give you a musical example, when I come at the cello, for example, I, oh, I'll exaggerate my breathing so that you can see it. When I come at the cello, I'll do it with an exhale. And I let my air out there rather than... rather than taking air in, because taking air in, now my body's tight. If I go out, now I'm loose. And maybe same thing here. If I... That, when we talk about you need a release for a shift, that exhale before I make my shift uh, helps the feeling of release in the hand. Concert? Are you nervous? Helps you get there, and so on.